Here at letter B, we have a low first finger on this D sharp. Now a D sharp on the D string, E is just regular first finger, D sharp is the low one. So as we go through this excerpt here at letter B, we have low one and what we call high one, regular first finger. So we have low one, high one, then high two, third finger. And as we go through this figure, low one, regular one, cruise on through, C natural. This is a low second finger because you'll notice, check your key signature. There's only F sharp in the key signature, so that means all C's are natural. B, E, cruising along, G, B, and then here we have another B flat. So this is a low first finger, just like in the beginning. So these low first fingers we have to worry about, D sharp on the D string, and B flat on the A string. When we get to this third line here, with, towards the end of this excerpt, we're going to play this first E right here. This is regular E natural. We're going to play it with our fourth finger on the, e str on the A string. And then this E flat, we have two choices for playing E flat. We could either do a low fourth finger, which is where you take your fourth finger and move it closer to the third finger, or we could play a high third finger and move it closer to where the fourth finger was for E natural. I think in this situation, with that E with fourth finger, E flat with the high three makes more sense. On the D string, E, D sharp, low one. E, D sharp, low one. On the D string, E1, D sharp, low one. E1, D sharp, low one. Playing E on the A string, fourth finger, here's E natural. Low fourth finger, E flat. Or you could also play high three. Here's E, regular fourth finger. Here's E flat with a high three.